All right, guys, today is Sunday, July 23rd, 2023. So I was on the road to try to get my hardtop completely finished up before my cousin Steve's 55 showed up, which that came in just a few minutes ago. I didn't get my car done. The only thing left is the hood. So I tried to sand it, the hood to buff it, but from where the house flies landed in the paint, it just wouldn't sand and buff out. So the hood is gonna have to be repainted so I've got to do that. Um, I am gonna probably try to respray that hood this weekend, possibly. So just have to wait and see how it goes. So Steve's 55 is here to do some finishing of, to get it to where it's drivable and running and all that kind of stuff. Uh, another shop done the work to it, uh, you know, did the frame, did the body and everything and the paint and everything and then put it together, but they didn't finish everything. So uh, that's why it's here is for me to get it finished up and running and driving. But, so I did get my car uh, finalized with a, another polish. I did a stage two, stage three polish on it and then waxed it and everything, got it all detailed out. So it looks really, really great. Um, I can pretty much drive it if I want to just about anywhere. Now at this point, I just won't have the hood on it, but I might try to paint that this weekend because I'm not gonna be working on his car on the weekends. Weekends is my time. So during the week, that's pretty much his time, except I'm not starting on his car till Tuesday because I am going to be trying to put some primer on my wife's car tomorrow. So I've got to get that thing uh, cleaned up, the metal cleaned up, and do some finished body work on it to put it in primer tomorrow. Because that car, I'm gonna have to store it out here in my fenced area with a car cover on it. So I don't wanna leave it out here uh, with it in bare metal and bare plastic. I wanna get some uh, primer on it first. but. Anyway, right now I'm gonna show you my cousin Steve's 55 Chevy project. So I am not sure how long he's had this car. I wanna say it's probably around 20 years. Uh, when he bought it, it ran and drove it. It was just an older restoration. Uh, but anyway, he took it to another shop and they took it off the frame and they painted the frame. They did replace some metal on it. I'm not sure what all they replaced on it. I think they ended up putting a door on that side. I don't remember, but Anyway, they done all everything, and this is actually pearl white and pearl orange, pearl burn orange, maybe. I don't know what the technical color is for it, but it's really pretty in the sunlight. But I've got to get it to where it runs and drives and moves and everything, because when he comes to pick it up, he's going to drive it home, which is about 35 or 40 minutes from here, so that's the plan. So I've got to do some finish wiring on it. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any of the interior stuff on it. He's going to have somebody else do that. But my job is just to get it mobile uh, to where it starts, runs, and moves, and does everything it's supposed to do. Uh, it is a uh, 327 small block Chevy. Has a 700R4 overdrive transmission in it. And then it has a 10 bolt out of a third gener or second generation F body. And that's a 273 gear. It's just a single track. It's not a posi. Uh, but anyway, the he just wants a cruiser, so that's it should cruise down the highway very, very well. Um, anyway, I did get it running for him. Uh, we just let it run for, I think, probably 10 seconds or so because it doesn't have any cooling in it. Um, anyway, I had it running on a gas jug that was sitting on the floor, but the gas tank needs to be put in and I don't even remember what all. I mean, there's lots of little loose ends to do on the car. I've got to put all the drum brake hardware stuff in, wheel cylinders, brake shoes, all that stuff in the rear end. Uh, I've got to put a rear end cover on it and put oil in the rear end. I've got to finish up this steering column install. This is an I did it steering column. It's a tilt and it needs to be bolted up and then I'll have to wire it all. Uh, and then uh, he's got a classic instruments uh, instrument cluster for it. It looks pretty much like factory, but it has the extra gauges and stuff in it. So I've got to put that in. Um, trying to remember what all. We put a low car floor shifter in it. So it's pretty cool. I'm trying to remember. I mean, there's lots of little loose ends to do on the car, but. I gotta put bumpers on it. He's got all brand new bumpers. They're all in pieces. I've gotta assemble them all and put them on the car. 
And I think he's got all the guards, accessory guards and all that too. Uh, it does have the electronic gas door where the gas filler was filled and this comes out by remote control or a switch and it kicks out. That's the, the panel for it right there. So the trunk will probably get upholstered so all this will be hidden. This is how he's got his battery. It's, uh, this would open but that fill tube's in the way. You know, there's a battery in there and a cutoff switch. This is a, like a cooler, a ice chest thing. But a little bit of finishing up stuff to do on the car, but it's uh, it's got a pretty good start. It just needs to be over the finish line, you know what I mean? So this wing window assembly needs to be repaired. He's got a new chrome frame for it. Um, man, what else? Got to put a rain gear wiper system in it. The, uh, he's going to get a vintage air kit for it. I don't remember what all, man. There's, there's quite a bit of stuff to do. Just, you know, a little finishing up stuff. I don't think the headlights or anything's wired up yet either. I've got to finish wiring up the, the dome light wiring stuff in it. So, I mean, there's quite a bit of wiring still to do under the dash. But I think I did all the engine bay stuff. I'm not sure if I'm rebuilding the front end or not on this yet. It needs it. It's got all the little ball joints and A-arm bushings and stuff in it. Somebody's replaced the lower on this side, but I don't think they did this side or not. Yeah, this one's been replaced, but the uppers are originals. I might try talking him into putting two new ones, uppers on it at least, to make it safe. Because you're going to have to have it front end aligned anyway. Might as well put new stuff on it. It's probably going to need a new set of front shocks as well. I'm trying to remember as I'm going here. Looks like I put a new oil pressure switch in the back and the or sender and then the temperature sender up here for that classic instruments gauges. So all that stuff's got to be wired. I'll put an alternator on it. We put the pulleys on it and the fan, the fan shroud and the radiator and all that stuff in it already and the overflow bottle. But anyway, it's a uh, it's here and hopefully it'll get uh, finished up uh, but anyway at this point once it's here probably going to be a couple weeks of work on it uh, but i'll post videos of it pretty much daily kind of daily progress update videos on it and then when it's done he'll actually be able to drive it home instead of having it trailered home so that's kind of what he wants is something to drive things been sitting in his shop for i couldn't tell you how many years in that same shape so that's going to kill you to walk out to your shop and have that thing sitting there and you not be able to drive it, you know what I mean? So hopefully we'll get that remedied in the next couple of weeks. But anyway, tomorrow morning, uh, I'll probably post a video tomorrow evening, and that is going to be of me uh, cutting loose on the four-door body shell, getting it in primer, try to get it in primer. I hopefully can do it all day. But at the end of the night, both of these two hard tops have to stay in this garage. So uh, anyway, the... The idea is to get the four-door finalized, just the back half shell of the car. The fenders and door I'm going to put in the shed. I just want that body shell primered so it's a little bit more weather resistant. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's not going to be under the carport anymore. But hopefully we don't get a lot of rain and stuff in the next couple of weeks uh, while his car's here. It's kind of my, my hope. But anyway, that's what's going to be happening. And... Most likely, if I have to make a run to the parts store, I'm probably going to drive this, so that'll be like the first, you know, shakedown run of the car. I've drove it around here a little bit, but I haven't taken it to town or anything like that yet. So, uh, if I need to go to the parts store to get something for his car, I'm just going to take this, and uh, unless I'm filthy dirty, and then I'll take my truck, because I don't want to get in this thing all filthy dirty, you know what I mean? But, I mean, this thing is pretty much ready to rock and roll. Sway bars are on and everything. The only thing that was not done is the hood, man. That kind of sucks. So anyway, guys, stay tuned. Uh, hopefully you're on board, and I'll be working on Steve's 55 Chevy for probably a good couple of weeks. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.